Hello, I'm Paul Higgins and this is Paul Higgins Photography. I've been here for a while, about a year. In fact, it is exactly a year because around about this time, around about my birthday in September, I usually rent some equipment and uh, do a review. Last year it was the Nikon or Nikon Z set, Z5, which um, was kind of meh. I enjoyed using the camera as far as the quality of the images was concerned, but the usability of the camera kind of left something to be desired. So. So now, this year, I am going to uh, try out a different camera. It's the... Na -na -da -da! The Nikon Z6 Mark II, which I rented from Borrowlands. And over the next few days, I'm going to do quick videos each day of my progress and what I've found out. So let's take it away. What can I say? So the Nikon Z6 Mark II was released by Nikon probably about six months ago now and you know quite a lot of people have done reviews of it but I thought it'd be interesting to rent and there's a couple of reasons why I'm kind of interested in this camera. One is that it's got a little bit more processor power than the Z6 and the Z5. So the second thing about this camera is that it's it's, it does actually, it's a professional camera, so it has the thing on the top, which you can see, the little camera, the little camera, the little uh, information panel, and it also has two cards. So one of them is an XQD stroke Compact Flash Express, and the other one is a standard SD card. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm only going to be using the standard, the S, standard SD card slot you can actually configure it so it, you can configure which is primary I'm going I've configured mine my Z6 Mark II to just use the the SD card because I don't want to fork out a load of money for a QFD or a CF Express card about a hundred bucks and uh, decide I don't like the camera and then I'm just kind of stuck with it so I'm not doing that anyway a quick tour around the camera so this is the front of the camera uh, so it's very similar to the Z5, so not much uh, new. There's a couple of function buttons that you can see kind of here and here. That's about it really for the front. Round the back here, round the back is a, um, it's, quite a, it's quite a similar layout to the Z5. It's got a joystick up here and it's got, um, you know, buttons and previews and, you know, all the good stuff. Um, it does have, like uh, I think I've mentioned on the uh, Z5. It does have this button that's uh, ideal for back button focusing, so that's uh, that's kind of cool. And then the uh, what was the other thing I was going to mention? Oh yes, here we go. So be very careful with this little button here, this little switch here. It switches between a what looks like a movie camera and a, a stills camera. If you have it set to the movie camera, like it was when it were, when I got it from Borrow Lens, you can't take pictures. You can press this button as much as you want, but you ain't taking pictures. So it took me quite a while to figure that one out. So that wasn't too wasn't too good. I think I showed you the top before, but I'll just show it you again. Here's the top. So on the side here, this is the side that has the. Uh, if I move my peak design strap out of the way, this is the side that has the slots. So if I open that up, you can hopefully see that I've got my SD card in here, and, I, and that, the uh, the QFD slot is actually blank or empty. On the other side, there's microphone, head set, headphones, uh, what have we also got, microphone, headset, HDMI, there's a remote control in there too, and there's powered USB, which I gather you can actually run the power of the camera with the uh, USB now, which is, which is cool, so I might be trying that out at some point. And on the bottom, mm, on the bottom, what can I say really? Not much, bottom, so there you go. In addition to this camera, uh, I also rented the Z mount 24-40S to f4 lens, which I rented before, which is very good, it's a nice little lens, not too heavy for a full frame. And as last time as well, I rented one of these uh, Nikon FTZ adapters so that I can use my F-mount lenses as well. I'm going to probably try and do a full episode talking about Z uh, the using the Z FTZ adapter. So we'll uh, we'll see how that all works out uh, once we get further down the line. Initial initial 
you know view of the camera taking it out for like about 40 minutes this uh, lunch time I like it a lot it like I said it, it handles like the Z5 which I really like the handling of I uh, just didn't like a lot of the there were a lot of niggly, niggly little things. Uh, one thing that was a niggly thing was when you took a picture, there was a uh, the screen went black for probably about a second, and then you got your preview if you do if you had the preview set on the Z6 Mark II. It seems to be a lot quicker, so that's cool. The it does the preview does stay up for quite a while, so I'm going to see if there's a way of reducing that. Looking at the pictures, they look pretty good. Um, I'm still getting to grips with. Um, getting back into the Nikon lens, uh, sorry, the Nikon uh, menus. So the I think there's some tweaking to be done there. And I need to set up back button focusing and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably be doing a lot of that tonight. Uh, hopefully I'm going to take this uh, out and about with me. We're going to Biltmore House for three, di three days, three nights in uh, uh, a couple of days. And also I'm going to the NASCAR Hall of Fame tomorrow. And I'm trying to figure out whether I'm going to take this camera with me. Probably should, shouldn't I? What do you think? I think I should. So let's see what we end up with on the other days while I'm out and about. So that's the end of today's day zero stroke one of the look at the Nikon Z6 Mark II. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Um, uh, um, um, and the second thing is, whoa, loud truck. Second thing is, I'm sure you're getting that. That was a loud, that was a loud truck. And off he goes. Um, uh, what are they called? Uh, wit and um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, yeah, there's a. Uh, uh,